Good morning at Home Fly Babies. Today is Friday, June 30th, the last day of the month. Can you believe it? So this morning, this is running late and I apologize. I'm taking care of my parents and sometimes things get a little hectic here. So here's your video for today. Make sure that you do go ahead and do your morning routines if you haven't done them yet. Hopefully you have, but if you haven't, stop. Go do your morning routines. You'll feel in control. You'll feel so much better. And all I want you to do is feel good. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your family. So go do those. And then after the morning routine, then make sure you get a load of laundry going and that you go through your paper if you have any paper uh, items still. All right. The next thing you're going to do is um, today, if you're on the second layer of our of our three little three layer cake. So the first layer is routines, the second layer is basic weekly plan. Today is person car day. So go out to your car with a bag, take all the junk out, throw it away, put it away, give it away, and take your purse, dump it out. I just did mine. I turned it over on the bed and dumped it all out, put everything back in that I wanted to keep. I had about five lipsticks that had been, I don't know how they got in there. It seemed like I'd gotten rid of them before, but anyway, I put those back where they belong. And a bunch of little giblets of paper that needed to go in the garbage. Just little things. I don't know where they came from. It's like little bits and pieces and some old Kleenex. So it's all clean and tidy. I know where everything is. And I hope that you do the same thing. That's the way it is. You want to have to know where everything is in your home and your purse. Everything that you touch. We're not being OCD. We're just being organized. So we can find things and make life easier and have less frustration. Okay? Now, today, after you make dinner. Oh wait, we got to go to the third thing. The third layer of our three layer cake. We can't have a top topless cake. Ooh. All right. So the third layer of the cake is our zone. Again, we're in zone five, the living room. So pick one thing and do that in your living room to clean it. If it's in, if you're in the deep clean mode, uh, nothing longer than 15 minutes. Don't make yourself crazy, please. And you can delegate these tasks. Don't forget. Um, if it's still in the clutter mode, then go ahead and do 15 minutes of decluttering. If you have big kids, why don't you all declutter for 15 minutes? You can get three days worth done in one day. Maybe the maybe two kids can do the equivalent of what you do alone together, but it's okay. It'll help. It, jobs done imperfectly still bless the family, right? Okay, next we're going to make dinner later on. I hope you laid out something for dinner. We're having hamburgers and corn on the cob. So lay out something for dinner. And then um, after dinner, when you make dinner after dinner, then you're going to do your after dinner routine. That's where all the kiddos and daddy too come in, or mommy too, if daddy's the one cooking, comes and takes their plate to the kitchen, washes it off, puts it in the dishwasher, or scrapes it off, puts it in the dishwater. Give it a little wash, a little rinse, and put it in the dish rack. Let me ask you a question, and I just said this to the payroll fly babies too. To be a citizen of a family, we need to contribute. We can't just lay back and expect people to take care of us. So surely by now, if your children are big enough to walk and carry a plate, they've learned to flush the toilet for themselves. And hopefully you're not running behind them and flushing the toilet every time they use the bathroom. It's the same with it whenever they use a plate. You're not responsible for washing that plate. Take it and put it in the dishwasher. This is not a hard process. Or rinse or scrape it and put it in the dishwater. If you have a little one, let her stand on a step or him, a stool, and wash it, rinse it, put it in the dish rack. Everyone should learn because eventually if you let them go and go and go and now they're 20 and they're still leaving their plates all over the house, you're going to feel put upon and I don't want you to feel that way. Totally unnecessary and it helps them with their self-esteem if you don't do everything for them. Okay, that's my suggestion. Um, don't forget after dinner that we're going to do our after dinner routine. And then we're, which includes sweeping the floor, wiping the sink, wiping the stove, washing the pots and pans. You know, you don't have to ask the family to do that. You can do that or you can delegate that. Why do you want your house clean anyway? Why? If the family doesn't participate, why do you want it clean? Because you want it clean. That's why. So remember, change your mind. You're doing this for you because you want it clean. You want it tidy. But you're still expecting your family to participate as citizens and do their little part. They're not doing the bigger parts. They're just doing little parts, little things. And eventually, you can delegate bigger things to them as you feel comfortable, okay, and as they're capable. All right, after dinner routine is done. Now it's time to get ready for bed. So the little ones, their jobs are... Pick up, a few, pick up all the toys in the living area that they've been playing with or games and put those neatly away. And then go to their bedroom and pick up four things. You don't have to pick up everything. Pick up four things. Find a home for those things. If you don't have a home for your toys, just like you, Mama, if you don't have a, a home for your items, 
then those things will lay around and look like unloved, unwanted things. And they're not unloved and unwanted. You need a place for them. If you can't find a place, then you have too many things. The same for your children. So decide which is the most important things that you keep. No matter how tiny. You know, people live in tiny houses. You know those tiny little houses with children and keep them tidy. And it's because they don't have too much. And they still have things. These children are not children who don't have toys. They have toys. They just don't have so many. And the parents have clothes. They just don't have so many. And they put them away. So you've got a house that's bigger than a tiny house. Or maybe you live in a tiny house. So just make sure that you don't have too many things in the closets taking up your valuable real estate. Okay? Maybe you have a huge mansion. And you still have junk everywhere. It's time to reevaluate. All right, that's it for today. Tomorrow is Saturday, so today is a great day to get ready for tomorrow. Enjoy your day, and when you see yourself in the mirror passing by, if you've gotten ready this morning, put on a little makeup, I'm sure you're going to look and say, Who is that? You are beautiful. Mwah.